my own path. Make my day what I want it to be. Come so back up. You ready? Yep, five, four. Welcome back to another <laughs> Choose My Path. Make my day. Welcome back. <laughs> you got that from that? Welcome back to another Real Talk Reaction. This one is for Orphan Black. Season 5, episode number 4. <laughs> Don't forget to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell. You know my wife's silly. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, we got Hetty coming through on episode 3. He said, Love the reaction, guys. I don't have too much more to add what you've already said, but I agree with all of it. This was such a good episode, seeing Allison reconciling with her past, rediscovering her self-worth and stepping up to Rachel was so powerful and satisfying, and that final duet with Dewan, uh, with Dewani, with Dottie was so sweet. <laughs> I just love that you were tearing up and smiling during that scene. I, yeah, that was adorable. Uh, really shows just how much we as viewers have come to love uh, these over the course of this show. Yeah. And yes, this final season is indeed going to have an episode dedicated to each of the main clones, although I'm, of course, not going to tell you what to expect from them or when they're going to happen. All I'm going to say is that they're some of my favorites in the entire series, and I can't wait for you to see them. I'm so excited, because that seems like such a great way to end the series. I love what they did for Allison, so I was hoping that was going to be a thing. Thank you for giving me hope, Henning. I appreciate it. Um, Henning also adds... Uh, this is not important at all, but that final shot of Helena in this episode is actually my profile picture. Very cool. Mm. Didn't realize okay. that at all. Um, executive producer Lassis says, love the reaction, guys. I love this Allison-centric episode, and she really did deserve an episode for all the brilliant things she does for the clone, uh, yeah. clone club. Yeah. Also, it was incredible to see the journey. Art has come so far, and I love how he was ready to take out his partner in that brilliant scene. Mm -hmm. Can't wait for the next yeah, one. Yeah, Art is like, fuck it, I went too good. I man. will take you out. It's the only way I'm going to get out of this. All right, last comment is from Corey, who says, I was also thinking this whole episode how wild it is to remember how Donnie used to be out of the loop on everything and how it almost destroyed her marriage. Mm -hmm. Donnie was like a sitcom husband at the beginning, and look at him now. Facts. Yeah. Facts. Like, we hated Donnie. And I yeah. remember, he was it's so funny in the first season, too, I remember like, like, you guys were just like, in some of the comments, were like, uh, I mean, it's so crazy to see how much you guys hate Donnie right now because we didn't know where it was going. Yeah. So, like, on yeah. side, he was so frustrating. Yeah, yeah I thought Donnie was dumb. Um, and Allison in her confrontation with Rachel and how she talked about her sisterhood was so touching, especially con contrasted against her earlier reluctance. Uh, and when Rachel told her she'd like to strangle her, Allison's, we aren't so different, you and I, is the best comfort come back to a line like that. And then they played the Allison about to do something crazy theme song yeah. as she got in the elevator. The same music they played when she went to Ainsley's house that fateful day. Mm. Just brilliant. They just we know what happened there. I have so much um, excitement and like uh, hope for this uh, series finale. Not everybody does a series finale well, but I think the show is going to deliver. So yeah. let's get into episode four right now. Yeah. <laughs> Daisy! Daisy! That's 
go. No, something's not right. Come on. Daisy? She's bleeding. I think it's an ogre. Yeah, damn, that's a big Um, what's the scientific name for ogre? Ogre, ogre is not realicus. Ogre is not realistic, realicus. I don't know. It looks pretty human. Okay, I have a theory. This bullshit story about a bear in the woods. You made it up, right? Because honestly, it's totally lame. Nobody's buying it. Do you want to tell me what's actually out there? Okay, first of all, the bear is real. It's deadly and dangerous. Right, and, liar. And no, I am not. And second, you were out there this morning. You helped the girls. Charlotte told me. We're on the island of Dr. Moreau here. Whatever weird shit is happening, it's coming from the big house. I know that disturbs you, Mud. So talk to me. Tell me the truth. It's not his fault. Who, who are you talking about? Mud. Who's out there? You're gonna give me a troll. Mud. Why are you so scared? Stay out of the woods. There's a bear in the woods.
Stolen. I don't know. French, and then you got that. Uh, so you just can't French take me a whole fucking while. Yeah, she already brought you right back. No, no, I'm just saying. You thought she was gonna keep it. Like, you just can't keep it. Hey, how's that cutting your arm doing? Should we have a look? It's fine. Okay. You wanna go set yourself down? <clears throat> a nice bit of light right on your face there. Be still. I want to see. No, go sit down. You're being impatient. <laughs> Come on. Hmm? I really look like my mum there. Yeah, you do look like your mum. You've been reminding me of her all day. Stomping around, breathing like a pug. I'm trying to help her. But what do you mean by that, eh? <sighs> She's acting dumb and acting she's dumb. mad at me for going to visit Rachel. <laughs> but she shows me things, like about why I'm special. Darling, you know that even if Rachel's being nice to you, we can't trust her. Kira, we don't know what she wants to do with that special part of you. Right now, like, Dr. Elizabeth Perkins. Patient names, emails, histories. About two hours ahead, there's a psychiatric facility, Cedar Ridge. Her contact there is Dr. Nimitz. They've never met. She's expected tomorrow. But she's showing up tonight with her assistant. There's a patient, Alex Ripley. Not their real name. Apparently, a neo ocean defector, high level close to Oman, Westmoreland, probably being held against their will. It's a secure facility. It won't be easy to get inside, but we're going to make them talk. And bloody hell was it figured that out? Well, he didn't, but he found Perkins. So who found the defector? Oh, Who's feeding you info, Cluster BT? You always do this. I rarely do this. Time, then I'm gonna make a stop. Where? Convent, Mum. Oh, uh, she's gonna go see um, Elena. I cannot imagine you here in this place. You never talk. child in the Ukraine. She protect me from other nuns, so they call her blasphemer and they take her down. Oh, wow. Oh. Jesus Christ. I'm writing my memories. Your memoirs? She was so nice to us, they took her down. <laughs> Sit, sister. I think your heart is heavy. Please tell me this didn't. Didn't what? 
Tell me everything? <laughs> Probably not. She did shed some light on those many sisters of yours. She did not. Close. Jesus Christ, what a trip. She had no right to do that, Adele. Hey, you know what? She trusted me. I'm kind Aww. of a sucker for that. You could have too, you know. Adele, there was a reason I didn't tell you. Oh, yeah, our life is hell, and our people regularly die violently. All right. Well, did I ever tell you why I was disbarred? I just kind of assumed it was because you were drinking all the time. That is a very big guess. <laughs> I'm an embezzler. Corporate law, right? So I'm real good at following the money. Stealing it, not so much. Oh my god, this family. This family. <laughs> Your mom has a job for us. How do you feel about tracking patent holding corporations and global profit flows in Switzerland? forgave me. I took Castor, she took Lita, and P.T. kept the two of us apart. Mm. You said the science was crude, but what were you trying to do? You want more? Get me out. This time of night, that key card. You can roll me right out. We need her, come on. Dr. Perkins? Yes. What are you doing in this ward? I'm a guest of Dr. Nimitz. Yes, I'm Dr. Nimitz. 
Well, finally. It's so lovely to. Have. This is Gabrielle. Terry, my assistant. This Ripley's line is out. There seems to have been some confusion. Yeah, can you come with me? me? What? We're on a whole new level with Westmoreland. We have to trust us now more than ever. So what am I meant to do in Switzerland then? Hmm? I need to be here for Kira and I have an art opening in three weeks. The boys have been digging. There are at least six different subsidiaries of New Illusion registered in Switzerland, so we start there. Follow the money. Adele needs you. You're a quick study. You're a survivor. We did and you're very cute, I would add. Can you fit in in Switzerland? Well, Susan, shall we share a glass with this excellent port? If we do, we can have the kind of conversation both you and I love. A conversation filled with deep and far-reaching consequences. Now, if we don't, the conversation is very short. Yes, and it's a pity. It's a worse than death, really. Out of the future after you put so much into it. You all the value of ruthlessness, PT. You always have. Rachel is too damaged for this responsibility. I'm sorry, what now? She's done pretty well so far. She tried to kill me. I didn't intend for her to go that far. I'm sorry, Susan. No, you're not. Your corporate race psychopath is finally paying dividends. <laughs> but admitted scientifically, you're lost without me. That's why I need you, Susan. Especially now that you think Bridget is dead. That's the only one you I left. require real time access to all Rachel's new data on Kira's anomaly. Very well. Exclusive access. Nothing hidden. No more secrets. But Rachel has the reins. So, to the future. Well, Rachel will be in charge. So, it's the other way around now. To the future. And that's just the way of things. Alright, that was episode 4 of Orphan Black and Wow, there was a lot of unanswered questions in there, a lot of open-ended questions, what's going to happen, a whole bunch of things they set up to be set up for over there. But, I like that uh, Felix's sister has came back for us to follow the money, because that's really how you get to the bottom of any corporate uh, thing that's going down. So, that's probably going to be the death nail right there. We got another crazy wolf beast boy in the woods, we got to figure out what's going on with that. We, it's just a bunch of things that's going on, so I thought this episode was interesting uh, by by a way of setting up all that stuff. So this is more of a, like a, a bridge, if you will, to get to what we need to get to for, for this season. But I'm interested to see the developments of what we're going to go with it, because we got Susan Duncan back, Virginia Cody about to be back. Everybody, everything about to come to a head, so it should set up greatly for an electrifying last couple of episodes once we get to it. So um, I'm interested and can't wait to see what happens with that. Um, yeah, so I absolutely loved Sarah and Mrs. S actually having like a mission together and they were so in sync like it, it, worked it, it after such a tumultuous last four seasons of their dynamic especially being on the rocks good all of that like to see them so in sync and just know exactly what each other's role is going to be it was super fucking fun like i really enjoyed it you could see how much sarah has learned from mrs s we already knew mrs s was you know the badass but like to see them work together so in sync was really cool to see and i really appreciate 
having this moment. And I feel like it, it really, again, I don't know. I feel like this, I'm probably going to read into every ep every episode too much in since knowing that it's the final season. Mm -hmm. But it felt like they gave us this as a gift too to be like, look, they can really work together and be amazing. And it was like mother and daughter. Yeah. So it was really cool. This is what y'all um, didn't see. Yeah, this is like, I know you guys were wondering mm -hmm. like what it would be like. But I'm like, thank you because I enjoyed all of this. Yeah. Um, I absolutely love the reveal that uh, um, Susan essentially worked with PT, obviously, and got replaced by Virginia. I thought that was just a great bit of information. We knew they were working on two yeah. different projects, but how closely they were aligned and working with PT, too, was, like, just super dope. The fact that we thought she was dead and, no, Susan actually hid her away and, like, mm -hmm, has mm -hmm. been keeping tabs on that, too, was a great reveal. What else can um, Virginia reveal? that we're going to find out once she gets out or however that's going to play out. And ultimately, what's that going to do with the dynamic of Susan now and PT if PT finds out Virginia is still alive? Because he obviously prefers her ruthlessness um, because they went to extremes with that for whoever the guy in the woods is. They went straight yeah. Dr. Monroe's yeah. Island all up in there. Mm -hmm. um, and I felt like it was kind of a ominous like threat as to what could potentially happen with Kira. If you have a psychopath like Rachel working with PT who's essentially kind of reminiscent of Virginia, what type of torturous behavior could they do to Kira too? Because that's their new specimen. Yeah. That's their yeah. new, you know, exciting new thing to experiment with and uh, work with. So I thought that was just a great like ominous tone they put to that because we already saw Kira, you know, mm -hmm. cut herself and all of that. Mm -hmm. um, and essentially all of that escalated to what we have running into the woods right now. So yeah. we don't want it to go that way. What's going to happen, I don't know. Yep. But I thought this was, again, another solid episode and I can't wait for the next one. Absolutely. Alright, well look, thank you guys again for watching another Real Talk Reaction for Orphan Black Season 5 Episode number 4. And until next time, people, peace.